If you hate exclusive games, this is good news for you. Fallout Square Enix will no longer be making games exclusive to consoles anymore. Maybe there'll be some games exclusive to Nintendo's, because at least they know on a Nintendo console a game will sell on there. But Sony has had a problem where people are not buying their games on the PS5. This includes the sale of Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered, Form Styles, Final Fantasy and Rebirth, specifically on HD games. And they're spending so much money on these massive games, and they're not making money. No one is buying them, okay, as well. Yeah, so that means Kingdom Hearts 4 and Dragon Quest 12, well, that could be multi-platform games as well, you know. And likely Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy 7 we both would be poor to PC and Xbox and Switch 2. It is very likely that these consoles will likely house all these games as well so what what was it worth it sony to make your games only on the playstation okay you know on a console that no one cares about in japan in the u.s they do but even then they don't buy final fantasy okay you know it is a game that people don't buy because people don't like to do a style of final fantasy people don't like to do a gameplay of final fantasy okay just remember tifa's boobs were supposed to save gaming that's what they all said that's what they all said Say if it was Stellarblade, Stellarblade was supposed to save gaming, but no, it did not. No one, no one talks about Stellarblade anymore, and we'll always remember that. Okay, that Tifa's boobs was supposed to save gaming. Okay, but it seems that the truth has come out. Okay, the truth has come out. No one cares about Final Fantasy anymore. Okay, they're done with Sony exclusivity. Again, Tifa was supposed to save gaming. Sad, sad. Okay, yeah, you know, and you know they have been rocked to one part from partnerships with Sony. There were also a lot of Switch exclusives as well, but the difference between PlayStation and the Switch exclusive games is that people actually buy the Switch exclusive games. You know, people actually play them. Okay, the problem is that sales for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Final Fantasy XVI and other Sony exclusives have been constantly been going below expectations, okay? Now, and these people are really just upset over this, okay? And they're like, these Sony fanboys are, of course, complain about Nintendo like they always do. Final Fantasy VII Rebake, uh, Correction of Saga, uh, Bravery Default 2, again. The reason why that flopped was because you had a game called Bravery Second, which everybody thought was a sequel to Bravery Default. But then they all did make Bravery Default 2. Okay, which one are we supposed to say it's a sequel? Bravery Default 2 or Bravery Second? We don't know. Okay, Sony really screwed, you know, no. Square really screwed up that franchise. Okay. Bravery Default 2 or Bravery Second? Okay. Babylon's Fall. Uh, that was a failure. Triangle Strategy, that was pretty successful. Chocobo GP. Uh, Harvest Stella. Uh, Dragon Quest Treasures for Spoken. That was a failure. For for Raspberry Sight, never heard of that game before. Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Form Styles. Form Styles was a failure. Dragon Quest Monsters and some other Japanese only Switch game. It seems that the Switch games sold pretty well. Okay. They don't have sales on most of any of these games. You know. And they all say that all of the Square Enix games on the Switch flop. Okay, like this is just ridiculous. These people really, really hate Nintendo this month. Okay, these Sony fanboys really, really hate Nintendo this month. Okay, we all know it's because of the big budget games. Okay, the small budget games on the Nintendo Switch that they put like Harvest Stella. Okay, those games actually sell on the Switch. Okay, those games, people actually buy those games and they make money back. The problem is that these big blockbuster games that Sony is re- that Square is releasing on PS5 only are not making any money. Okay, as not just the Final Fantasy games, uh, Foam Styles was a failure. Okay, Forspoken was a failure. Okay, you know these are big massive games. Oh yeah, and, but just remember, Forspoken was a Sweet Baby Ink game as well. You know that also adds insult to injury to Sweet Baby Ink and. Developers will really stop working on Sweet Baby Ink if they want the game to succeed because everything Sweet Baby Ink touches turns to garbage, as we all know. And that's about this video here. Goodbye. And just remember, this was supposed to save gaming.
Yeah, white.